Hello everybody and welcome to a new video of mine. Today I'm going to talk about update 3 and how it feels and what I like and don't like. So first, as you might have seen in the bottom left corner, I am already max level. Let me do the vampire real quick. I got an air orb. Yay, best element. And yeah, I got it pretty quickly by just <laughs> grinding and no lifing quite a lot and having double XP and friend bonus as well with the infinite guild. So yeah, we play a lot. Of course we play a lot because we're trying to be one of the best or the best guild. So we're trying to level up pretty damn fast. And the first thing um, you can see already here of the update is the scientist. You might have seen from other YouTubers or other videos or in the game yourself. And this guy is a very fun update. I like it a lot. You get an index where you can upload items or donate items. You can donate one item, like each, each item once and then you cannot upload it anymore or donate and you get some xp for it like as you see donate item i click on this you get xp and with the xp you can get storage inventory and you can get some gems as well if you go for it you also get some titles which is nice it's <laughs> fun um and this also solves the problem of the chest also so like this is very doable for mid levels as well i think like most mid levels like these items are very easy to get i mean some like these are last level of course but a lot of these items are pretty easy to get and give you some pretty good xp i guess and yeah it's it's a good addition it gives you extra inventory space instead of having you use a crap ton of gems or even robux for the inventory pass so i really like that and then the next big thing is the radar so if you press k if you have it i'll show you how to craft it soon as you can see it boots up and it search for mobs and then you can see there the um how do you call it dummies they get scanned and you can see them that way I think this has a cooldown of around a minute, so it does take quite long, but if you reset though, it does reset the ability as well, which is going to be very handy in Underworld, which I'll, I will show you soon. And the next thing is how to craft it. You need text chips and flash drives. The first thing you need to do is go to the merchant, it should be or in the cave or in the uh, side at the waterfall. Normally these are waterfall, but my graphics are on low right now because I need to prevent my crashes. <laughs> and after you spend a lot of gold, they, these are pretty expensive. Um, after you get a lot of gold, they sell for like t two pieces as a, 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 like each time at the merchants. So you get two flash drives or to check the tech chips every time you can buy them they are very expensive they can go for like around four 400k gold or something like that each one of them or sometimes even around 100 gems if you don't have the gold so if you do have some gems you might want to save them up if you really want the ability they, it can sometimes it can really be handy in dungeons like atlantis and underworld in case you miss an um, enemy or something or you just can't find them and uh yeah so that's that and up to the next thing that i like is the new difficulties of atlantis i guess i like them because they give me some extra extra uh, hp it, i mean I'm, i really don't like the map itself so it's like all right i am very angry though that there is not an infinite i understand people want um, everyone to play the new dungeon instead of grinding the new infinite for the leaderboard or something like that 
but yeah i i'm, I'm really disappointing disappointed in that so that's uh, that's a point that i don't like about the update and the other thing uh that is new is underworld so i'll go in underworld i'll show you the dungeon right now and yeah it's it's like how do you say it it's a fun dungeon i like it but there is one big problem with it so as you press start it's like huh where are the enemies um then you realize you have to do this whole parkour like this and we have to jump get on the platform i missed but i have plenty of hp so it's fine you have to parkour this and then you find the enemies after you do this whole thing so i'm i wasted like almost half a minute for that i have to defeat these enemies it's just your general enemies again you have some tanky enemies these enemies are way less annoying than the um npcs from atlantis so i'm really happy that is some like like that is like <laughs> i think the only yeah the even the most annoying guy is pretty easily dodgeable and yeah but i don't want to keep doing the um, what's it called the the parkour the mini parkour because that just takes a, a lot of time away so what you have to do to really make your time close to decent is reset so you can just press ask r and enter and then you will fast reset and then as you can see you just respawn and you can start defeating the rest of the mobs like that and this is like a circular thing circular form which is pretty easy to clear so you saw the previous one which was more chaotic i guess and more spread apart this one is just going into a circle and let's reset again and now we spawn in this one this one has two in the start one to the side here and two on the side here left and the one um there uh like this bam okay and you have the mini boss here it's enchanted so it's gonna take a bit longer you have a sorcerer here two two enemies here as well and then two enemies here in the end as well so that's that reset i'll talk about phantom as well later because i changed it out I changed it a bit as well i got kind of the round one again so that's easy to clear as well i i do kind of like the layouts of the map itself i like clearing it it's way more intrusive than the atlantis one because the atlantis was just like where the hell am i going where the hell do i need to go and why is this so long and this one is way more fun i guess uh, get these guys so th this is the most annoying part of the dungeon i guess like this is the the worst you can get i'm guessing so this one there's one more that we haven't get, uh, gotten yet with like one enemy that is pretty um spread apart <laughs> we haven't that, had that one then we have the boss you can go up here but i always just reset and you will spawn like respawn on the top and then you have the boss here which was a very original thing it's gonna protect its head now and after it protected its head you can start doing damage when it lays down so when it protects its head its head do not hit it or it will get um like when it after it protects its head and you hit him it will lay down and when it lays down you won't be able to do any damage and then it will jump up again do like a big aoe jump and damage you he will regen all of a all of his hp like back to normal back to full and he will do like a whole laser beam which will follow you so you so you have to 
like go like this like keep going in circles around him and that's the only way you can dodge it or you can just reset to like reset your barrages or something and yeah um after that you can just defeat them so if you maybe want some more damage there are totems they they do spawn in here they don't spawn frequently at all the items also don't spawn also don't drop frequently you also have a better ring as well i don't i don't have the 20 percent yet i think no i don't i have 120 percent and 190.4 but yeah that's pretty much the most of this dungeon i like it a lot they just need to fix the resetting thing just get rid of the parkour and teleport us or something or uh, just do something fun with it because this is not optimal at all to farm or do anything with and now up to the next thing let's go back to the lobby return to hub which is raids so let me let me just shortly tell you how i think about raids one i guess they're a fun addition two i am disappointed in what they were because in my head it could have been so much more could have been so much more special but in short what they did was they took a challenge they made it accessible to more people they made it even harder and they boosted the, the gems you got and the rewards you got. That's it. Literally, that's it. <laughs> there's nothing more. <laughs> like I'm telling you, there's nothing more. That's it. That's literally raids explained fully. There's nothing more. <laughs> and that's very disappointing. But that does mean that I don't want to play them though, because they like they gave me more damage, they gave more XP, and they gave more rewards. So it is good to play, I guess. If you don't have double XP. <laughs> Talking about double XP, raids start every three hours set on a certain time. So it's it's never once um at this time or that time it's always every three hours set on a time so that's really sad and it starts like the every every same raid starts every person joining a raid starts 10 minutes after it opens so it are so it opens example at 18 o'clock and it will open you will be able then only then you will be able to see which map it is because it is just um a random map and you have to be lucky with that as well if you um care about xp or something like that and you can you get seven minutes to start it up and teleport to the dungeon itself so you can invite people you can friend people you can get more xp that way so when you go in here you'll be able to create a party everyone will be able to, to press play join your lobby and you'll be able to join it here do friend everybody if you if you're doing like a private server server or something like that and then you will get a lot of xp boost once you're in the dungeon as well so talking about the seven minutes thing and the 10 minutes thing if you you can start before seven minutes after zero so like 18 o'clock zero zero if you start at example 18 o'clock zero five you will have to wait the five minutes in the dungeon itself as well so they're, they're making you wait quite a bit for like some reason i guess it's good they give you more time in the lobby like they give you seven minutes so you have a bit more time to decide if you want to join or not um but yeah after that like or before that so if you join or start the dungeon really quick you will have to waste about 10 minutes so i imagine you just instantly start a raid you can join on your own i'll explain that soon but once you start it you will kind of waste the double xp if you have some or like 15 minutes i'm telling you they are gone 
you will not have anything to use before you get to the boss unless you're doing a very low level or something like that and you have a lot of high levels or like i have the infinite guild in your lobby so um yeah talking about the joining thing alone so imagine you have a lobby with five people you want to play together in raids so you can start up you go into the dungeon and then other people that that join the raid as well will join your lobby as well so imagine you go with 15 people that one guy will also join you so you will always have a full raid so that's in my opinion a good addition that's that's really well done and um I think that was about everything about the raids. Oh yeah, the like it circulates random. So it is really annoying for the higher level players if you want higher level stuff. Because the underworld uh, raid, it is very hard. Only the infinite guild that I'm inside of, one of the best guilds, if not the best. Um, we've tried it. The only reason we couldn't complete it was because the boss in the end fell through the map and it stayed at full health and we couldn't complete it after he like regened his health back up in the underworld um, dungeon. So yeah, and we haven't had it, had it since so it's really unlucky so you have to be really lucky. You have to wait three hours and then suddenly the dungeon you you want doesn't come up again so that's something annoying i guess but yeah i i hope they do something more special with the raids because they they just feel like challenges on steroids and i hope they make it re really cooler i'll maybe in the future make a different video about it as well talking about how i would do the challenges and make it great or fun for every level and every player but on the next thing on to the next thing is uh, the phantom so they did not nerf the damage of phantom itself they just nerfed the damage of the mastery so now i do have quite some points into my skill like in my element i have 400 points in my element because i am max level so my flick i mean my hand slap does 16k so yeah that is quite a bit higher than it used to be so they just kind of balance that that way or otherwise i would be basically one shotting almost everything at this level so i understand that but what is a problem is the way they did flick and the smash so smash used to have infinite range it does not anymore so it goes like this it does not hit the um dummy again and that's the whole reason why i liked smash a lot because you it had, it had so much range it was so good and something else as well with the slap this still works but with this um with the flick i mean um you press it you could have dashed forward and the damage would also transfer forward but now when you do it it like it, it barely reaches so it doesn't really do that anymore i used to be able to hit all this right now but it doesn't do that anymore and when i go this and i go back it still hasn't fixed so you have to be really close and only then it will hit which is really bad i i i, I already hated that ability and they just made it even worse and i'm um, really considering of maybe using lava because I'm going to be very honest, Phantom is getting really boring. The only two things that are kind of carrying uh, Phantom is Step and Barrage. So you can do this. And yeah, th that's basically the whole gameplay of Phantom in a nutshell. Um, also the Barrage thing, if you press it here, um, like the end smash, like the boom bam yeah like that 
when it smashes the floor at the end still not fixed but they but they did um make the flick even worse for some reason so yeah i don't i don't know what to think about it man so things i liked about this update was the the, um, the scientist i like it a lot it's good for late game players i have something to do now except for the leaderboard um i'm probably not gonna uh play for the leaderboard again i got my champion title so i'm not gonna play for it anymore and i crashed too much to go for top 10 um the raids it's like 50 50 i like it because it gives more stuff like you get more rewards so who doesn't mo like more rewards but in the but then on the other sides they're just the same thing you are playing and just harder and more <laughs> um in the radar i also like that i really like that ability it's a good addition um the new elements as well i didn't talk about that nature i i think it's a really good addition for newer players and um the new element magma uh, i mean lava also a very good addition i'll talk about that on another on another video if i maybe consume it as well um but yeah that concludes the whole or most of the updates i think if there's more things you guys want to see just let me know and i'll talk about it on a new video for you guys <laughs> and if you like this video if you like my content please do like this video subscribe and i will speak to you guys in another video Goodbye.